What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. I know, it's a big surprise, I never do these. Today I am partnering up with Picture Polish to show you their five brand new shades. They're all super holographic, they're all super dark and vampy and jewel toned and beautiful and I love everything about them. So for those of you guys who haven't heard of Picture Polish, I've done a ton of videos on them before. They're one of my favorite independent nail polish brands. They're based out of Australia and their bottles are so cute. I absolutely love their little bottles. One thing that I love that they actually did with all the polishes in this collection is sometimes they do these little tiny designs on the front of the bottle and I just think that makes them look so much more special so all of these polishes feature cute little designs so let me show them to you and I'll also show you the swatches. So as always just using base coat underneath all of my swatches to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains I will link the one I'm using in the description for you guys. So first up in this collection we have the shade Double Decker which is a really beautiful vibrant red that has a linear holographic shimmer running throughout it. Now just a quick note, linear holographic polishes are actually the hardest for me to capture specifically. I use the lights that everybody recommends, but for whatever reason, I just can't capture that linear shift unless I'm in direct sunlight. So kind of hard to tell in this video. I tried my best. Hopefully you can see a little bit of that hollow sparkle coming through. But on this one, it was a two coater. It looked so gorgeous. It was really bright and vibrant. And I feel like this isn't any time of year color. It's just so stunning. Next up, we have the shade Shine, which is a slightly darker, slightly vampier shade of red. Again, with that linear holographic shift to it and this one to me had a little bit of that jelly vibe to it. I'm getting the sense that the more layers you do of this color the darker it will show up because on the first layer it is a little bit bright and it is super red but once I threw on a second coat it did come onto that more vampy sort of blood red kind of look to it and I feel like if I had thrown on a third coat it would have been even darker. I actually did think it looked great with two coats though and I do love that dark color and I think those holographic shimmers showed through really well and looked super beautiful and they definitely took on a little bit of that red vibe which I also love in a polish and why I love having a jelly like polish like this. Just another really gorgeous shade. Next up we have the shade Cherie which is a really beautiful bright magenta shade again with that linear holographic shimmer running throughout it and this was another one that was a little bit light on the first coat and I ended up getting my desired darkness on the second coat but again the more layers you do with these types of polishes the darker they will show up on your nail. So if you want it to be a darker, vampier sort of manicure, you can definitely throw on a third coat. But I did love the brightness of this purpley shade in two coats and I thought it looked really beautiful and I loved that holographic pigment running throughout it. Next up we have the shade Deep, which is definitely my favorite in this collection, not just because it's a purple, but just because it has a really beautiful undertone to it. It's almost this like very blue undertoned purple that has such a rich pigment to it and it looks so gorgeous on the nail. I ended up getting full opacity in two coats and I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous and with darker colors you really get a huge burst of that holographic color coming through so you could really see the hollow shining through so nicely in this color and I don't know it just feels so wintry and perfect to me. And last but definitely not least we have the shade Dreams which is a beautiful dark rich blue shade again with that linear holographic pigment running throughout it and this one was so beautiful and stunning on the nails. I absolutely love wearing colors like this for the winter. I love wearing colors like this for Hanukkah and I feel like they're so gorgeous. You could also definitely wear this any time of year. Like it's so sparkly and rich that this could even be a summer color to be honest. I just absolutely love it. I love that hollow shine. I love the base color. I think it looks so beautiful on the nails and it would suit any skin tone. So overall totally loving these polishes. I'm definitely feeling this like dark jewel toned vibe for winter and I think these are so perfect. I I know they are an Australian brand, so it's gonna be summer there soon, but I feel like with that little holographic sparkle, these are also gonna be great summer polishes. So honestly, you could probably get away with wearing them any time of year. These polishes are available on the Picture Polish website, which I will link down below. And they're also having a huge Black Friday weekend sale, so definitely check that out. I will put all the details in the description for you guys if you're interested. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like my swatch and review videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these shades, if there's any you plan on picking up this weekend during the big sale, big summer blowout. And uh, yeah, that's it. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing because I do a lot of nail videos. And that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Fun fact, you guys been asking me a lot about how Frozen 2 was. And I will tell you, it was fantastic. I cried the whole time. Um, I told you guys in a recent video that I was going to see it that night. 
I did, it was fantastic. If you guys, a lot of you guys don't understand why I love Frozen so much and like just the Frozen franchise, I guess I'll say. And the reason is because I am convinced that Elsa is a metaphor for mental illness, specifically anxiety. And I feel like I relate to that so much that like watching these movies, even though I know they are aimed towards the younger demographic, I feel like that part of the movie makes me feel, I don't know, so understood, you know what I mean? Like just Elsa struggling with her powers and feeling so lost and alone and stuff. I don't know, it just seems to me like a metaphor for anxiety. And I won't tell you any spoilers for Frozen 2, but that has just absolutely cemented my belief that it's about anxiety and makes me love it that much more. And honestly, sometimes that movie's kind of hard to watch because I feel like it's very overwhelming to think of like how real and difficult that is. I don't know. That's why I love it so much. So if you guys are wondering, that's why. But yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. If you guys haven't watched Frozen before, or if you have watched it and you don't really love it, try to watch it again with like a different lens, you know? Think about it as an anxiety metaphor, especially for those of you guys who struggle with it like I do. And tell me, tell me if that makes you feel a little differently about it. Cause I would love to know. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.